Hello friends, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Cornbread. We have had amazing weather this past week and that means lots of outdoor work. So I just got done moving Sophie and Amos's fencing. So of course they've still got this area where, where their shelter is, but I pushed the fence line back into all of those trees to give them all of that over there. Um, I'm really inclined to get the chainsaw out and start cutting down all them little trees. Leave the big ones for shade, but cut down all the little ones uh, at some point. But the reason I moved this fencing today is because right here is the access to get into this area where our trailer is. I, I actually want to pull the trailer in further away from the road, um, but I needed to be able to get the tractor in through there from the road over here to the manure pile, the giant pile of old manure and bedding and straw and hay and all that mess. I'm going to start using it for the garden, the older stuff that's on this end. And then once I get the layer of manure, compost, all that mess, uh, into the beds then I will pull my truck over because at this moment my truck bed is full of garden soil. So you saw in a previous video where I had put together my garden beds and now it was time to fill those up. I started with a nice thick layer of old manure, hay, and straw. This will create the foundation for my raised garden beds. And on this particular day, I had no sooner gotten the first bucket load when I had someone decide they needed to help me steer the tractor. By the time I took this video clip, she had already been on the tractor for the better part of an hour. Even though she was getting wore out, she just didn't want to get off. Bean could not wait to get down there and help with the garden Whoa. once again. Whoa. Whoa.
So the day before we had used the tractor to put in all of that foundation layer of the old composted manure, hay, and straw. And so now it was time to get it all spread out and get the garden beds ready to receive the soil. I was able to track down bulk raised bed soil at a place in Fort Smith called Mulch and Moor. And I ended up doing several trips there over the course of the week. The next morning I was out there bright and early working once again on filling up these garden beds. Little Miss Bean has definitely decided that this is her favorite place to play. You could not keep her out of the garden beds while we were out there working. And on this particular day, my son decided to jump on the tractor and help out. And of course you can't let that tractor go too far without jumping on for a ride. See you later. She was absolutely determined to work that rake just like she watched Oma do. More beautiful weather and another day of working out in the sunshine. 
Once the raised beds in the garden area were completed, we started working on the stone beds that were here when we moved in. This particular bed that Willow is sitting in is going to be filled with flowers and herbs. And when you're a little girl and you get a bunch of dirt in your hair, your daddy grabs the leaf blower. <laughs> Is that funny? She said, come on, do it again. Now the last thing that we did in the garden area was I went ahead and grabbed the Premier One chicken fencing that we haven't been using and so we put that to use by putting it up around the garden area to keep the cats and other critters out of there. Now this will not keep deer out and we have a lot of them. This is just a temporary fix until we get something more permanent put in. We've gotten a lot accomplished in the last week and I'm looking forward to all the things that are going to happen in the coming week. That is it for today. Thanks for hanging out with us here at the homestead. Lord willing, I will talk to you all again soon.